Let's uh, start fundamental concept. At first, what is a uh, charge? You should have learned this from your high school. Just in case you forget, let's uh, review what it is. According to physics, there are two types of charge, positive and negative. Positive and negative charges attract each other. This is a similar to a magnet. If you have an N and an S, an S, N and an S poles attract to each other. Now, if we apply a force to positive and negative charges to separate the charges, this force will create potential difference. Is a potential difference is called the voltage. Uh, if the charge move, like those, you have two charges move towards together, uh, those are two charges movement create electric current. So this, uh, there are two fundamental concepts directly related to charge, which are voltage and current. Now let's uh, define more uh, detail uh, what is um, voltage. Actually, the concept is uh, exactly the same as uh, here. When positive and negative charges are separated, energy is uh, expanded and uh, stored. Now this is called the voltage. By definition, voltage is an energy per unit charge created by separation of positive and negative charges as given by an equation, the potential voltage equals dW, W is uh, energy and uh, divided by dQ, Q is, um, is um, charge. So here V is a voltage, the unit is a volt after an Italian name, Volta. Volta lives, lives uh, 1745 to 1827. Here W is energy. The unit for energy is a joule. Joule was born in Salford, actually in Manchester. After he died, he was buried in Sale, in South Manchester. He uh, lived 1818 to 1889. Here Q is a charge. The unit is a clump. Uh, clump is, uh, was a French, uh, 1736 to 1806. If we take uh, one example, what is what uh, can provide voltage? Like a 1.5 volt AA battery can provide uh, voltage. The next uh, definition is a current. According to physics, current is a flow rate of charge, i.e., amount of uh, flowing charge per second. If we use an uh, equation to define what is a current. The current equals dq divided by dt. Here i is a current, the unit is a uh, amp. Uh, amp was a uh, French from 1775 to 1836. Uh, Q is a charge, already we uh, uh, talked about uh, clump. Uh, T is time, the uh, unit is a uh, second. Now from those uh, examples, you can see uh, these names, 1745, 1827, 1736, 1806, 1775, 1836. Now you can see here, more than 200 years ago, many uh, famous scientists 
I think that's um, um, the uh, discovered uh, physics uh, still their name because people remember their name. The next uh, definition is a power. Power is defined as uh, energy change rate due to expansion or absorption, i.e. energy change divided by time. So if we use uh, equation to describe, P is power, W is energy, T is uh, time. So you can see here definition, P, the power, the unit is uh, what? What was a Scottish? Again, 1736 to 1819. Um, w is energy already we discussed. Unit is Joule. T is time. Uh, unit is a second. Yeah. I leave this uh, example later. Uh, during our synchronized uh, section, we will, I, uh, we will spend time on examples. This is the same as uh, the following um, video. Now let's uh, we discuss a few um, um, concepts like a voltage, current, uh, power. What is the relationship between those uh, concepts? According to definitions of those uh, three concepts, power, voltage, current, uh, at first P equals dW dt is here, uh, that is dW dt. If we add dQ here, dQ here, we divide by dQ uh, times dQ, actually we didn't uh, change anything. So now we have uh, dW dQ, if we group those two together, group those two, uh, what is this? dW dQ, let's go back to previous page, you can see here. DW DQ actually is a V, that is a voltage. Now those two, if we, if we group together, this is a DQ DT. Now, back to this equation, that is a I. So now we can we can use a V I to replace DW DQ DQ DT. Now from a from this, we can see a very simple relationship between power this side and uh, voltage current uh, this side. So in a circuit, the power is simply voltage times current. This is a very important uh, concept. So you should uh, remember this uh, concept. P equals V I, a power equals voltage times current. Again, we leave uh, example later. Uh, during synchronous uh, session, we will discuss uh, example. To understand electronic circuits, um, there are three common methods. Method one, theoretical analysis. To design a circuit or a sensor system, we need a circuit analysis scale. We need some theory, not very theoretical, but some theory. That is the purpose of this Cosmo, this cost module, is a theoretical analysis. Uh, these days, computer is more and more developed. More and more people use a computer simulation try to understand uh, circuits. Uh, people use a computer as a tool, a simulation. Uh, I have to say simulation can never replace circuit analysis. If you don't really understand a circuit, you just use a computer to simulate a circuit. You wouldn't be able to really understand a circuit. So I don't really recommend computer simulation if I'm Put, put across, just uh, make a note. I don't recommend this uh, approach. Method three, experiment. So most uh, circuits can be built and tested in lab, but usually it is easier to analyze a circuit theoretically. Now some circuits, you may not be 
uh, it, it wouldn't be easy to, um, to verify by experiment. In that case, is the only way to understand a circuit is by theoretical analysis. So among those uh, three methods, theoretical analysis, computer simulation experiments, I would, would say this is the most important. That is the most important theoretical analysis. So to analyze a circuit, we need to make use of concepts, circuit model. Now, what is a circuit model? Circuit model is a mathematical repre representation of a physical circuit using ideal component and ideal circuit. So you may not have an idea what is the ideal component, what is the ideal circuit. Yeah, I put a note to be discussed uh, later, very soon. So don't worry about those uh, concepts. Circuit model is used for circuit analysis. And this is the same thing as, uh, as here. Uh, you need to analyze a circuit, you need the theory, you need the circuit uh, model. Actually, both for theoretical analysis and for computer simulation, you need a uh, need, uh, circuit model. Uh, there are um, <clears throat> several basic, uh, uh, basic circuit elements. Uh, we call the ideals basic uh, circuit elements. Uh, to be an uh, ideal basic circuit element, it must have must possess uh, meet three conditions. An ideal basic circuit must meet the three conditions as follows: two terminals, and like a resistor, there are only two terminals. Uh, can be described by current and voltage. And like a resistor, if you apply a voltage, there will be a current. There is a certain relationship between current and voltage. That is uh, uh, comply, uh, comply with uh, Ohm law. We will discuss this later. If you take a, a piece of wood, now that is not a circuit element because wood wouldn't, you wouldn't have a current through wood cannot be subdivided. If you have a two here, I'll give you an example. If you have a two resistors, like uh, here, if you have a two resistors in series together, uh, this is not a uh, uh, basic uh, element uh, because those two, you can separate. Each one is, uh, is uh, a basic element. So those are three conditions. There is a very confused uh, concept, passive sign convention. I read this uh, definition from a textbook to you. When the reference direction for a current in an element is in the direction of the reference voltage drop across the element, use a positive sign in any expression that relate the voltage to the current, see the following figure. Otherwise, use a negative sign. I'm pretty sure most of you have no idea what uh, this statement talks about. But here is uh, an example. If you, this is a basic element, you have two terminals, uh, here is a voltage. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, I would prefer this is a plus minus. Uh, plus minus. Uh, if your voltage you define this is a plus, this is a minus. Now you assume your current to go this way. So those two is uh, positive. That is a uh, positive. That that is uh, what basically this uh, statement here talk about. Actually, it doesn't, ma doesn't matter how to assign reference polarities for voltage and reference directions for current because 
different assignments do not make a difference in final results. Uh, here, this is my own explanation. It means this uh, passive sign convention is useless. If you don't understand here this uh, statement, forget about it. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you define. You define this uh, voltage here is positive and here is negative. You define current go this way or go that way. No matter. Uh, if you define in different direction, you will find your final result, you have a negative sign. That is all difference. Actually, in real sense, there's no difference. So let's uh, finish uh, here. Uh, we will continue our concepts uh, next time. <laughs>